welcome to another episode of Serialist Business. We're continuing on with Kellogg's Frosted Flakes Pumpkin Spice Flavor because pumpkin spice motherfucking everything, son. That's how we roll. Uh, it's weird, like this year, 100%, the actual cereal companies were the ones that like, like the actual ones, not the pretend ones. Don't go to the 99 cent store because that's just knockoff bullshit. So, uh, this has an interesting story behind it though. Not only because it's pumpkin spice and now every cereal seems to have a pumpkin spice variant this time around, but this is interesting because I ate an entire box on my own already. What a pointless review, Matt. Just go ahead and kill yourself. Hashtag Matt is not a reviewer. Uh, this stuff is awesome, and so, but I wanted to do a review on it, so I'm like, I'm kind of torn between two, torn between two lovers, but this cereal is, it's awesome, like, it stands above the rest of the, uh, pumpkin spice stuff, but here's the thing, I have not tried it with milk yet, ooh, swerve, motherfuckers, because, hey, I always say they taste the same, which you know, apparently is not, not the case, but you, for years, were mad at me for not using milk, and now I'm gonna, uh, you with milk and you're gonna go, oh, you already left a comment, I bet. You went, oh, Matt, fuck you. I can't believe that you already tried the pro. Oh, wait a minute, though, the milk. We forgot about the milk, Lebowski. Let's try it. It's really good. It actually does taste like pumpkin pie to me, which they do have a picture of a pumpkin pie, but it tastes like pumpkin pie over just traditional pumpkin spice. I don't go ape shit over cereals very often anymore. Although Love Crunch was pretty fucking good. <gasps> <laughs> All right, let's get our milk in there. Is this gonna be a game changer? Am I gonna be sad when this goes away? No, not really, because I like I won't. I'm actually going to. I'll probably eat this box. Let's be honest. But after that, I just oh, I don't I don't know. I don't have any craving to buy it again. And I know that, that should factor into something, but that's just because I have a hatred of sugar. All right, let's try it out. Gotta tell you something. Uh, the milk is definitely making the flavor much more subtle. I don't like it, kids. I don't like change. I fear the difference of opinion. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Way worse with milk. All right. We're going to go ahead and split the review on this one because it completely changed what it was with the milk. It's a three out of five. I mean, it's just so subtle. And it doesn't even have, like, the actual taste of Frosted Flakes either. It kind of just tastes like... Whatever they put on the Frosted Flakes to give that pumpkin spice flavor just melts off with the milk. It milks off with the milk. How many of you already were upset that I that I say it like milk? Milk. 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 General Kenobi. So, I don't like it with the milk. I'm gonna give it, like I said, 3 out of 5. Without the milk, it's a 5 out of 5 seal of approval. Fuck yeah. It's so good. Like, I, this might be one of my favorite cereals to just snack on because again it just tastes like frosted flakes and pumpkin pie had a baby it probably that baby probably wouldn't make it very long in the south so either way make sure to check out the kellogg's frosted flakes pumpkin spice one of the better uh items of this this basic white girl genre that comes out around this time that you need to go try and what are you well that was a burp Thank you so much for watching. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to follow me on social media, Twitter, and also Instagram. And I have a food review. And I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you on the next episode.